Hello everyone. So I bought these two Samsung monitors a couple months ago. They are the um, UR55 Series 28 inches IPS 4K UHD monitors. Uh, I have been using the, them for a while, so now I want to give a review about them. So, these two monitors are really big. They're 28 inches each. So first, I would like, I'd like to talk about some of uh, its specifications. So this monitor, the highest refresh rate is 60 hertz. The maximum resolution is uh, 3840 by 2160. Response time is 4 milliseconds, and the panel type is IPS. Screen size, as I said earlier, is 28 inches, and it comes with um, two HDMI inputs and one uh, display port, 1.2, I believe. And its contrast ratio is 1000 to 1, and display type is LCD, I mean, it is called like LED, but LED is a type of LCD. And the uh, aspect ratio is 16 to 9. And the pixel density is 157 pixels per inch. If you're a graphic designer, you might care about that. But for me, I think that's all right. And uh, the high dynamic range format is, is HDR10. And the product size, uh, the weight, the product height with stand is uh, 14.7 inches. Product height without stand is 6.9 inches. And product width is 25.1 inches. The weight is two sorry 12.8 pounds and the cord length is about 60 inches the power consumption is 40 watts they come with this very standard base um, the problem with it is it can only go this way it can't go up and down so you can't adjust the height of the monitor but only the view angles also you cannot turn the screen vertically using this this comes with the standard vesa mount 75 millimeter by 75 millimeter but you should pay attention that this part is recessed so um, you can see this this mount this part is a little bit too long so it's here so you gotta make sure the screw is long enough so you can kind of like hang it there but on the bottom you can tighten them up and uh, so I mounted them this way and they're pretty sturdy so it really depends on the kind of mount you buy uh, so with this mount, I can adjust the height of the screen up and down. Here I did a 4K video test. And I'm just recording it on my phone.
unhappy with the dis uh, display quality. Very comfortable to read. The price for this monitor is still above $300, I believe. But I got them at like two, around 250. They were on sale a couple months ago. So I hope this video helps you. And if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one.